Yes, well, the, the police admitted that they were there were inadequate preparations last year. They failed to anticipate those clashes uh, between the alt-right and the counter-protesters, and despite plenty of warnings. So, as you'd expect, the security this time is pretty tight, and there's going to be a big police presence. There's a state of emergency. Now, that means that Virginia can access state resources, including the National Guard, if necessary. Uh, the authorities have vowed vi zero tolerance in Charlottesville. Downtown's been closed off to vehicles. Now, the organizer of the Unite the Right 2 rally withdrew the request for permission to demonstrate in Charlottesville. Instead, uh, the uh, permission's been given for a demonstration in Washington on Sunday uh, outside the White House. Now, of course, last year there was shock and surprise at the sheer scale of this white nationalist rally. Hundreds of people, a very intimidating presence with torches, racist slogans, uh, and of course, amid the clashes, as we've heard with the counter-protesters uh, afterwards, uh, there was one woman, a counter-protester, Heather Heyer, who was killed when a car uh, drove at speed uh, into the crowd, and since then a man's been charged with murder. And we know of that comment that Donald Trump made. It, it was really a contentious comment because he refused to lay blame on, on the alt-right uh, following. Uh, Yes, this, this caused outrage. I mean, he did condemn the killing and said the man who did that was a murderer. But generally on the violence, remember his expression, kind of, there was violence on all sides. Um, he described the white nationalists as having been innocently protesting uh, and said that on the one side you had uh, people who were bad, on the other, very violent. So his critics said, of course, well, you can't bring in moral equivalents here. It's really, you've got to call out white supremacists and neo-Nazis uh, where they exist. Uh, beyond that, it's really, however, uh, exposed, if you like, divisions over the American racial history. He, he touched a raw nerve and exposed divisions that are still there 150 years after the, uh, the Civil War. And all this began with the build-up um, of protests against the removal of Confederate statues. Uh, Trump had defended those who were protesting against the removal of those statues. And in Charlottesville today, the effects are still being felt. A lot of people thought that it was a, a peaceful, progressive city, but in fact it's uh, exposed uh, inequality and racial strife. There have been council meetings reportedly turned into shouting matches. Uh, that said, there are a number of events planned to commemorate uh, last year's uh, events uh, this weekend, uh, and it's hoped they will be peaceful.